The small, strange, and mass is an ape like cryptid reported from Central Asia, said to inhabit the Asian mountain regions of Burma and Karu Cassius, as well as the Mongolian mountain range at Loi. Studies of Adamus, Adamus date back to as early as the 15th century. This creature has been sighted walking upright like a human. In fact, it looks more human than a Bigfoot type creature. Said to craft clothes and tools, it's said to resemble a living caveman. A body is covered entirely with thick, realm to reddish brown hair. Facial vision remains uncovered, but patches of skin are dark. The trail structures are now messy, possesses a protruding brow ridge, slanting forward, flat nose and large protruding jaw. Their feet are large and their fingers are long. Their appendages are completely covered with their hair except for their hands. Animus is a Mongolian word for wild man. The plural term Almasi is derived from Russian, while the variations of name Almasi and Rasa Saror Banayara Ukurai, which translates the name of the forest entity in the Western Asian regions, such as Auzbekistan, and George's current accounts of the most recent sightings of Anamasi. Anamas was located near the southern part of Mongolia, along the Anamali Mountains, and the Tin Shi Pass near the north border of China. First accounted historical records in the 1400s, Animus is not used to refer to one individual organism, but in a community of many. These individuals describe a subspecies of humanids, in which humans and ape primates are like orangutans or gorillas and chimpanzees belong to Amesi, resemble the appearance and body framework of Nephidia nef- holes, another species of humid, which roam Western Asia for far. North Africa and Europe became extinct in the 30, about 30,000 years ago. A massy of bipedal organisms which can walk upright on two hind legs. The common height range for Amnamas is five feet tall, but adults can be as high as six to f- and a half feet tall. Feet. Their bodies are covered entirely in thick brown to reddish brown hair. The facial vision remains uncovered, but patches of skin are dark. The skull structure of the animus possesses a protruding brow, brow ridge, starting forward, flat nose and large protruding jaw. Their feet are large and their fingers are long. Their appendages are completely covered with hair, except for their hands. In the 1880s, a man claimed to have domesticated a female animus named Zena. Zena. The creature also held within numerous enclosures for many years trained to carry out daily tasks, such as growing grain for front of flower, holding firewood. Zana had a, never learned to speak, instead using grunts and mutterings. The animus, animus are very athletic, fond of swimming, and apparently of a taste for wine. Zena later made it with a local man, had four children, a tooth sample, one of the children was tested so, so they could be real. Accounts of Russian historian, Professor Boris Pearl, Pearl Pouch Nif in 1634 exclaimed that Amas appeared to have a cone shaped skull and teeth structures similar to humans, except that the canines were wider. Pouch then reported to have encountered the descendants of Amas, which were grouped in families but the world in holes in the ground. He further describes the human like beings as many as have been having excellent swimming and running abilities, fell older and diet that consists of small mammals, vegetables and fruits. And Massey and uh, as nomadic creatures travelled beyond the areas of Mongolia, in which they are frequently sighted by farmers and villages. Stories report dating to the last fifty years of located the Ranamas community around the Kar- Karakalas Mountains in Russia and the Black Sea after Af- Artifacts and evidence of it. evidences of existence of animus communities also been found in Panama Mountain of Central Asia. One of the most recent expeditions that claimed to locate the animus was led by Russian cryptozoologist Dr. Maria Janina Kolovman 
a French civilian, man from civilian, civilian parallax in 1902, seemed to find it a This was greatly discovered by Kaufman, describes the animus as large, hairy creatures, weighing as much as 500 pounds, and the nocturnal creatures that run as fast. I can run as fast as 40 miles per hour. However, the only solid evidence Kaufman was able to collect were hair samples, footprints, and droppings. Variations in name and most of the regions have been cited are Balaran Mulu from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Gulupu Yagavan from Turkestan, Kasu Jurovic from Kafastan, and Mulian. Tigris in Siberia, among others. In popular media, there is a search assembled to find the animus in Russia. On Destination Truth, the full episode focuses on animus. The animus appears in a comic book, cartoon, network, action pack, dash 29, Crying Wolf.